I'm Smita. Now that you know about Intrax Inbox, we will move on to see how you can engage users with Intrax WhatsApp templates. We'll divide this into three parts. Let's first understand what are WhatsApp templates. Then we'll move on to the steps that are involved in creating these templates on Intrax. We'll end by looking at how you can get these templates approved by WhatsApp. So what are WhatsApp templates? WhatsApp templates are pre-approved WhatsApp messages that can be sent as notifications to users who might not have spoken to you in the last 24 hours on your WhatsApp number. Now besides that, WhatsApp templates also come with special formatting options like buttons and quick replies. Let's now see how you can build these templates on Intract. We're going to go ahead and create a new template. What we need to do first is pick a suitable name for this template. Then we need to choose a relevant category. Now if you're unsure about which category to pick, we'd recommend going with the commonly used category that is alert update. As you can see, Intract also lets you pick out the language that you want to send the message in. Now a WhatsApp template can have four sections, that is the header, body, footer and lastly the buttons. Other than the body, all other sections are optional. The header is an optional field, but if you would like to include a media file in your template, then you have to define that in the header. Intrack lets you add photos, videos and documents to the header. You can just host the media on a public website like imagekit.io and then insert the URL in the template before you send it out. If you're planning to use only text in the header, then Intrack lets you also add a variable to the header to make it more personalized. Now, we need to work on the body of the template. Intract enables you to add any number of variables to your template which will later be substituted with user information like name, email ID or phone number. Intract also lets you add a relevant footer to the template so we're going to quickly add one here. Let's move on to buttons. Adding a button to the template helps your users respond a lot faster to your message. You can choose to add more than one button and you can keep your button as a CTA or a quick reply. We're now going to see how these templates appear to your users on their WhatsApp chat screens. Let's now break down these templates part by part. As you can see, this is how the header, body, footer and the buttons appear to your users. We're going to first look at the different types of headers that we've used. Here, in this template, we have included an image in the header. And in the second template, we have used only text with a variable in the header. In this template, we are also going to look at the body and the footer. In the body, we had included two variables for the user's name and email ID. And as you can see now, Intract has substituted it with these user's details. And this is the footer that we have given here for this template. Now, we're going to look at the different CTAs that we can use. In this template, you can see that we have not used a header. Coming to the buttons, you can see that the button used here is a CTA with a contact number. Clicking on this will direct the user to a dialer app. In this last template here, for the buttons, we have used a quick reply asking the user for feedback on the purchase that was made. The WhatsApp templates that you create need to be first approved by WhatsApp before you send them out. Let's understand a bit more about this. This is the template that we just created. You need to hit the sync button here to submit this template to WhatsApp for approval. You will then see this green dot here once your template is approved. Most of the approval by WhatsApp's AI takes place instantly, that is within 30 to 60 seconds. If you continue to see an orange dot, then this means that the template has gone into manual review and this could take up to 6 to 12 hours. This usually happens if the content is promotional. As per WhatsApp's policy, WhatsApp recommends sending only transactional notifications to the users. 
So ensure that the context of your message is clear to the user and avoid sending outright promotional messages. Now, if your template was rejected, you will get to see a red dot here. And in this case, if you want to understand more on what went wrong, you can reach out to our support team via WhatsApp and we would be happy to assist you. Now that our template is approved, it will be available in the inbox and the notification center to send to the user. That's all we've got on how you can build interactive WhatsApp templates. Watch our next video to know all about smart cards in Interact's shared team inbox.